Horizon Drawings. Let's use this simple game to turn a weird jaggy line into something really awesome. We're going to start with a piece of white paper, a Sharpie or some other black marker. You can use a Crayola, some colored markers, and or some colored pencils. So here I'm going to give you a little tip on making a straight horizon line to make it a little bit easier when you do your horizontal line. I just took a magazine here, just had a nice straight edge. You can use a ruler, anything you want. I'm going to make a very light straight line with my pencil. This is really going to help me when I make my jaggy line so that I have a nice straight line to start with. I'm going to start at the end of the page. I'm going to come straight along this line and then I'm going to dip and I'm making a jaggy line all the way across. Make the jags, like the space in between them, pretty wide. That way you have enough space to make your monsters or whatever you're going to make um, these little creatures be. So I, as you see, I used that very light pencil line as a base and then created the jaggy shapes off of that base. Now I've done this enough that I can freehand it, um, but I wanted to just give you guys a, a quick tip to make it easier because the more you practice it, you won't need to draw the little horizon line. So here I'm doing it freehand. Um, I did not draw the straight line with the pencil. Um, as I said, I've done this so many times that um, I could kind of do it in my head. But the more you practice at these little drawing games, um, the easier they become um, and the quicker you become at them because you get used to it. Now that my little jaggy line is done, I'm going to create some feet off of some of these shapes. So I'm going to start with the first shape that's on the horizon and I'm going to draw two legs down. I'm going to add some crazy little feet here and then I'm going to come back up so that I have some form to my legs. I just don't want them to be little stick legs. I'm going to draw another foot on this side and then I'm going to come back up and connect it. So now my little triangle man here has a couple of feet. This guy here I'm going to make some pointy feet. None of these need to be realistic obviously. They are a jaggy line creature. Um, you can make your legs or your feet any shape you want. This one I'm going to make with a wavy bottom. The only thing you want to do is make sure you turn them into a solid shape where if you start at one point you come back and you end it at the other point so it encloses and it's a true shape. This guy's going to kind of look like a jellyfish legs. There we go and I end it so now I have a shape. For each one of them, they're going to need some kind of face or pattern or decorations. This one, I'm going to make it a cyclops, one large eye, maybe some uh, eyelashes. And I'm going to give her a couple of little crazy arm things, wing things coming off the side of her head and then a mouth. The middle guy here, I'm going to start with a couple of uh, pointy ears, almost look like kitty cat ears. A couple of large black eyes. Um, and if you notice, I'm adding a little highlight here. So I'm making a little circle within the circle and not coloring it in. So I leave a little white highlight. And then I'm going to give him some teeth. And some stripy legs. Poor thing doesn't have any arms. I'm going to leave him armless. Uh, this one here. Now here's a fun thing to do. You can draw eyes on the outside of the body. Whoop. That's kind of fun. I'm going to give it an eyelid and a couple pupils right in the center. And then a little mouth.
And I'm gonna make her Dottie. Maybe we'll call her Dottie. I think she's cute. And my last guy here, oh, he's gonna be the crazy guy. He's the crazy friend. He's gonna have horns. And one large eye. And again, I'm gonna leave a little highlight there. And one tiny eye. And I'm gonna make a kind of a crazy mouth. So it's like a, it's almost like a rainbow shape. And then a little wiggly line on the bottom. There we go. I love my little monster party here. I think what I'd like to do is add some color. So I'm gonna color in some red areas. I'm gonna color in some lips and the inside of the mouth. And I'm gonna pick another color. Um, I think I'm gonna do some light blue and add some color to this guy's legs. And I'll color in her spots with some teal. All right, I'm gonna keep filling in and coloring in parts of my monsters here. You can try anything with this uh, horizon drawing, this weird jaggy line drawing game. You could make a cityscape, you could draw a crazy caterpillar or bug. Um, I'd love to see what you come up with. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for joining us. Um, and when you're finished, don't forget to upload your pictures. I can't wait to see what creative thing you did with these jaggy line drawings. Bye, everyone.